Hello, welcome to the channel and thanks for watching and something very different on the channel today. The first time I've ever featured any Fallout miniatures. Not a game system I've played, not a game system I know a great deal about, but I saw these on uh, pre-release and thought, wow, fantastic. Obviously, the series has come out on Amazon. Uh, I've watched through that, as a lot of us will have done. Fantastic series. I played the games back in the day. I played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Never got into Fallout 4 because by that point I heavily got into World of Tanks and that kind of took over my PC gaming. But, you know, real fan of the Fallout kind of background. And again, the TV show I thought was absolutely brilliant. A great adaptation. Couldn't resist these models when I saw them on pre-order. They are usable for two different games, uh, Fallout Factions and Fallout Wasteland Warfare. Now, I don't know a great deal about any of these things, uh, but from what I gather, Wasteland Warfare is kind of the bigger one, the more like we would see a traditional miniature game. But again, love the models, four models in the set. And you can see here, you've got a full set of rules in there, and I'm sure if you play the game, you might be reading through this and thinking, oh yeah, I understand what this means. So, you know, if you do, um, you can have a look through these things here. This is the Wasteland Warfare um, stat card. So, look, I'd love to tell you what this all means. Um, I don't know, and I suppose I've been asked by a few people when I've uh, dropped it on, a couple of people have DM'd me, a couple of mates have said, oh, are you gonna pick up the game? Tell us what the game system's like. Not entirely sure. Uh, this is just for a bit of fun to see it. But again, you get the four characters in the set, as we see in here. So uh, Lucy, who's obviously the survivor from Vaults, the ghoul who's the survivor, uh, CX404, or the dog, dog meat, um, and Maximus, the brother of Steel character. So the four characters, really the main ones in the film. And in the back there, just gives you a bit of information about what Wasteland Warfare is. And it does look a very interesting set. And then the Fallout Factions on the back, which looks more like your traditional kind of tabletop um, game. So how do the miniatures come? Now, when I heard the resin miniatures, I was a little bit unsure because, again, resin miniatures, in my mind, have got a bit of a bad history. When you look at um, Games Workshop's Forge World ones, I've never been impressed by them, to be perfectly honest. And then the fail cast and those kind of things, especially with single miniatures. Forge World, amazing for big models, but does have moulding issues. So I've always been a little bit funny with resin miniatures. Done a bit of Star Wars, um, Star Wars Legion models, and they're resin, and they're a decent quality. And I would say that these ones are probably a step above those as well. The actual casting across these models is really, really good. Um, so obviously, like you do with anything, when you first get the models, you un unbag them, and this is how they come on some little frames. Um, the frames are relatively uh, decent. The first thing that struck me, though, look at the size difference in these models. When you play certain game systems, you know, naming no names for 40k, um, you are so used to Marines in power armor being roughly the same size as a normal human, only a little bit bigger, and you couldn't physically fit in the power armor. So the size difference is great. The bases are fantastic as well. Just looking at the power of base there, you know, you've got Maximus with the power of a base with uh, from the scene, I think, in the first episode, um, with the beast that comes out of the cave, and you can see the footprints in the floor. Uh, the Lucy character looks like she's sort of leave, just leaving the vault where you see uh, some skeletons on the floor. The ghoul, I think it's the gunfight, and the dog is very much that very first fire fire scene where um, he runs off and kills one of the bugs. So the bases are fantastic. A uh, bit fragile, the little sprues to hold them onto, because I went through the pieces and thought, oh, there's a bit missing, and then realised actually the gun uh, sort of ammo pack was actually still in the bag. So a little bit fragile, but actually real nice casted, real sort of nice quality. I'm quite impressed with how they come. So again, now we're on looking at the uh, the ghoul. Um, one of the best characters, obviously, in the series. If you've uh, watched it, I'm sure I'm talking to the uh, converted here. Everyone, I'm sure, will have watched it. It's an amazing series. Real nice detail, real nice uh, things. They seem to have taken the, the characterization of these kits from kind of peak parts of the series, although slightly intermixed. When you look at the Lucy character, when you see it uh, sort of assembled later, she's kind of just as she's exiting the vault, but she's got the gun from later on in the series. But I suppose they've mishmashed it to make it sort of, you know, make a bit of sense. And again, uh, the dog, lovely, lovely base. Um, the rad roach that's sort of on the base there that he uh, runs off and eats in that first fireside scene with Lucy's first night in the uh, the wasteland. Um, yeah, so real nice base, real nice miniatures. Um, now, build them up, and it just says in the instructions you've glue. It means super glue. So I've built them, and I'll quickly show you through the built models here. I am going to do some painting videos for these models. Uh, I'm halfway through painting them at the moment. What I'm saying, really enjoying painting at the moment. Real good quality resin. Um, really, really nice detail. For the first time in a long time, I painted the bases first before actually moving on to the models because the bases are so nice. Um, I'm really impressed with these models so far. And these are from the Modifius. Um, entertainment which uh, deal with actual models and they've got a number of other game systems that they do so yeah really impressed with the miniatures so far really nice level of detail um, and actually so characterful from what is in the series i think um, you know they've they've really matched 
um, what you sort of see on the screen and that you can almost see the real genuine faces. So really, really uh, happy with the set, enjoying painting so far. Now, quick bit on the power though. When you are taking these off those little sprues you can see, I'm gonna zoom in because I actually managed to break the, the buttstock on the rifle. Uh, I clip it off from the other end first. Um, and when I came to do the buttstock piece, because the larger piece of the model I clip it off first, it put obviously undue pressure on the buttstock and snapped it off. You saw the little snap line there. I did fix it, it was fine, but just one to think about if I was clipping it off again, clip off from the buttstock first, just the hints, you don't want to break it yourself. And again, look at the scale differences. I think it's fantastic how they've got the scaling right on these models. Makes you feel like properly immersive. Uh, yeah, so that's my little chat just through that box set. Probably uh, useless to a lot of you, hopefully fun for some of you. And uh, keep an eye on the channel because I will be painting these miniatures up in the next video that drops kind of on the channel. All right, so if you enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one.